to all of you for taking three hours out of your life to come and listen to me. I'm, I'm very honored and very excited to be talking about my favorite subject. Well, as everyone may know, my favorite subject is emotions, but anger is something I am very excited about, which always is very confusing to people. And uh, uh, what I have tried to do today is to create sort of um, uh, a melange. I was thinking, what's the right word where you go sometimes to a restaurant and you have salmon three ways. So this is like anger in four ways. We're going to, I'm going to stimulate your left brain with some not too many slides. I'm going to give you an experience, hopefully yourself, a fly on the wall in a, in a video session where I'm working with anger and helping someone uh, release anger that has to do with learning to set boundaries and sadness for having, having been able to set boundaries when she was, uh, when they were younger. It's a non-binary person who I wanna thank for allowing me to share video. And then finally, we're going to be exploring anger in a dyadic way in these breakout rooms, which I hope you all will will come to, and I'll, I'll say something about that later too. I, I, when I was training in AEDP um, in 2003, really, I, I stumbled upon Diana Fosha. Um, when I was uh, 39 years old, I had gone back to social work school, just to orient you a little bit to, to me, for those who don't know me, after a, a first career as a dentist, which is only relevant because I had tons of, um, I went, it was in essence medical school for the first two years. We were mixed with the medical students at Columbia. And I think all that education in the body really made me ripe for what AEDP was about with working with the body and effective neuroscience. And then I was about to go into psychoanalytic training. I'm from New York City, this is my New York office. Um, and a friend of mine suggested that I hear this woman, Diana Fosha. There was a conference that was going on in New York that was uh, on emotions and trauma and attachment with Dan Siegel, Diana Fosha, Tom Stern, and Jude Cassidy. And what I learned there blew me away when Diana put up that the triangle of experience and started to teach about emotions not only did I feel transformed in terms of understanding my anxiety and my prior two major depressions as not the end of the story, but of the beginning of the story, but I also was so struck by where was this information? I was a, a science nerd, and I say that lovingly to all the other science nerds out there. Um, I had the best education in, in science and biology and psychology, and none of this information was anywhere. So I really became passionate about studying it. Um, as I practiced ADP for the 10 years that, that followed, I, I went and I got the analytic degree uh, because I thought that gave me some credibility as I was building my practice, but I was uh, passionate about what I was learning in the trauma therapies. And so after 10 years of practicing, my pet peeve that I didn't get any emotions education uh, when I was a teen or in my 20s really turned into a moral outrage. And for the first time in my life, I felt like I had something I really wanted to say. And that's when I wrote that article. For those of you who don't know, for, I blindly submitted an article to the New York Times uh, on treating someone who was told they were depressed for years and years and years. And then I just reconfigured them as someone who experienced trauma because I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. And they got well, they, they healed. And, uh, and then when the article went viral, and then I got asked to write the book, It's Not Always Depression, and then I began teaching, but I'm not really a teacher or a writer, and I had never been before I had something to say, so you'll, you'll bear with me. So let's see, and I'm going to be looking at notes. I really want to stay 